My name is Lisa, and I work in the accounting department of a company. It's often challenging because I have to deal with numbers from a perspective close to management, but it's very rewarding. It requires a lot of attention, but I get along well with everyone. And in my private life, I have a boyfriend named Forrest, and I'm enjoying every day to the fullest. On this day, Forrest and I came for an anniversary dinner. The view at this restaurant is always beautiful, no matter when we come. I was so worried about having to work overtime even though you made a reservation again this year. It's always hectic during the end of the fiscal year. By the way, Lisa, it's our anniversary today, right? I'm so happy to be here having dinner with you again this year, Forrest. I'm glad to hear that. Hey Lisa, will you marry me? What? I decided today would be the day I propose. So, please say yes. Yes! I would love to marry you. This is my boyfriend, Forrest. On this special day that we visit every year, Forrest proposed to me, and we got engaged. Once the fiscal period ended and my work calmed down, we started preparing for the wedding. It feels like a dream that we can have our wedding at that venue. My colleagues mentioned it too. It's really popular. It doesn't have extravagant decorations, but the atmosphere is just so beautiful, don't you think? It's really nice and calm. But Lisa, who should we invite as guests? That's the thing. I want everyone to come. I know. Let's have the food be something your mom likes. Does she prefer Japanese or Western cuisine? Forrest was always considerate of my family, showing his kind side. Discussing our wedding plans was a very happy time for me. However, soon after, Forrest's job became very busy. I'm sorry. It looks like I'll be home late again today. I can't finish my work on time. If it's for work, there's no helping it. I'll handle the preparations on my own today, so don't worry. I'm really sorry, there have been so many issues that I can't keep up with them within work hours. I understand, it sounds tough, but do your best at work. Forrest was really busy, and the days he came home late at night increased. Sometimes I waited for him, but he came home looking very exhausted, and I was very worried about his health. Because of this, I continued the wedding preparations while consulting with the wedding planner. A few months later, on the long-awaited wedding day. Oh, you look so beautiful in that dress, my dear daughter. Mom, you've been saying that over and over. You're making me blush. I used to think you were just a child. And now you're getting married today, Lisa. Don't cry, Mom. You know, I was able to reach this day because of you. Thank you so much for raising me. I'm truly happy thanks to you. Lisa, be happy, okay? This is my mother. She kept complimenting me in my dress, and I was filled with so much joy. As the ceremony began and we were about to exchange wedding rings. Isn't it noisy outside? It does seem a bit loud. What's going on? Ta-da. What? Is that Lala? What are you doing here? You suddenly disappeared a few years ago and went completely silent. And what's with that outfit? Can't you see? It's a wedding dress. This tiara makes me look like a princess, doesn't it? So cute. No, that's not the point. Why are you wearing such a pure white dress? Isn't it gorgeous? Doesn't it look more like a wedding dress than yours, sis? I'm so cute that I just stand out. On my way here, so many people were staring at me. Maybe they thought I was a celebrity? It's tough being this adorable. Hey, Lala. Did you hear about the location from a relative or did you come here for something specific? Exactly. I've come to take Forrest with me. What? Come on, Forrest. Let's go together. Lala, I've been waiting for you. What? Wait a second. Hey, what's going on? I'm sorry, Lisa. I've decided to be happy with my sister Lala instead. So, let's call off this wedding. Calling it off? You can't be serious. Sorry, sis, but this is reality. Come on, Forrest, let's go to our paradise. All right, Lala, grab onto my arm. Let's make our escape. Eek, you're running too fast. Wait, please, hold on. Several people tried to chase after them, but Forrest and Lala managed to escape. The wedding was interrupted, and naturally, the reception was cancelled, with all the cancellation fees falling on me. Despite my repeated attempts to contact them, I received no response. I was left in despair. When I got home, 
It feels like I'm having a nightmare. How could Forrest and Lala do this? Oh. The place is a mess because I've been so busy. I need to clean up. Ugh. What's this? Huh? Receipts from Kosuka Hotel, and more of them. Does this mean Forrest has been cheating with Lala all along? Unbelievable. If that's the case, I'm going to gather all the evidence of their affair. Heartbroken, I returned home, only to discover in an unexpected way that Forrest had been cheating. However, despite gathering evidence of the affair, I couldn't find any clues about where the two had gone. But a few days later, I received a call from someone, and when I went to the specified location... Hey! Been waiting for you. Seriously? What on earth are you two doing? Sorry. Thanks for picking us up. We were in trouble with no way to get around. You really saved us. Ugh. I can't believe grown adults would try to steal alcohol from a supermarket. Even little kids know better. Are you both idiots, Forrest and Lala? We were drinking before we came here and completely forgot our wallets. But we really wanted more booze. Yeah. So we were getting all excited about our big success when the manager spotted us. So, you called me to pay the bill because you didn't want the cops involved, right? And you probably thought, might as well get a ride from her while we're at it, didn't you? Bingo. Spot on, sis. You always get it right. When it comes to annoying stuff like this, leaving it to you is the safest bet, right? That's why we had the manager call you, Lisa. That's not something to brag about at all. Well, anyway, since you're here, can you give us a ride? Lisa, you always get it before we even say anything. You're a lifesaver. We'll leave the rest to you. Anyone could have guessed this. Then it's fine, isn't it? Oh, by the way, just drop us off wherever is convenient for you. Saying that, Forrest and Lala fell asleep in my car. Fed up with their behavior, I decided to drop them off at a suitable place as they requested. Thirty minutes later. Wake up, you two. We're here. Is it morning already? I'm still sleepy. Welcome back. Hey, stop being groggy and get over here. What? Why is my brother here? And isn't this Lisa's parents' house? You're right. Why did we come here? We'll talk later. Just get inside already. Ugh, stop it. What? Why is dad here too? Of course I called them. When I got the call from the supermarket, I contacted them. Sis. It's awful to trick us like this. We just borrowed a little beer, that's all. Shut up! You disappeared without a word and now look at what you're doing. Calling it borrowing. It's not like they had a take it for free sign. Grown adults causing trouble for others. Are you kidding me? Your mother-in-law is right. You've disrespected Lisa, and now this. Not only are you not remorseful, but you're getting worse. Shut up. Be quiet. Getting lectured is seriously annoying. Cut it out. Whoa! What the heck? You two? Ruining the wedding and then disappearing without a trace. It's clear you haven't reflected on your actions at all. Instead of apologizing, you're just defying yourselves. You're pathetic. Noah is right. How can you behave like this? Not only have you troubled Lisa, but also her entire family. I don't want to be married to Forrest anymore, so I'm breaking off the engagement. I took Forrest and Lala to my parents' house. Waiting there were my mom, Forrest's dad, and Forrest's brother, Noah. Though surprised, the two showed no remorse and continued to be rude. Haha. <laughs> what are you talking about, Lisa? We already broke off the engagement a long time ago. It's so pathetic that you thought we were still together. I didn't think that at all. I'm formally ending the engagement here and now. Letting it just fade away naturally leaves things unclear and unsatisfying. We don't need to make it official to know that it's over. It's not about knowing or not knowing. I said it felt unresolved. Besides, if people don't reflect on their actions, they'll just repeat the same mistakes. That's why I want you to reflect on what you've done. Ha! Huh. What do you mean by that? I'm going to demand compensation for breaking off the engagement. And you'll also need to pay me back for the alcohol I paid for earlier. What? You heard her. You better pay it all in one go since you two can't be trusted to make payments. Why do I have to pay compensation? Lisa and I never submitted a marriage registration, so we're not even legally related. Exactly. It's ridiculous to demand compensation when we're not even married. The ridiculous ones are you two. 
Don't you know you can demand compensation even during an engagement? Even if Lisa didn't say anything, I would have made you pay, you idiot. Oh, and don't forget the 5 million yen cancellation fee for the wedding venue. Are you kidding me? Why should I have to pay for that too? Yeah. Sis, didn't you get cash gifts from the guests? You're not planning to keep all that money for yourself, are you? You two ruined the wedding ceremony. Do you really think I could just accept the gifts in that situation? Why not? It was a celebration, so normally you'd keep the money. Right. And half of those gifts are mine, so hand over my share now. I returned all the gifts to the guests. What? Forrest and Lala couldn't accept that the cash gifts had been returned. Why did you decide that on your own? Sis, that's so mean. You should have talked it over with Forrest. How am I supposed to consult with someone who I can't even contact? Besides, who would accept gifts in that situation? Really? Don't you think the same, bro and dad? Stop talking nonsense. Of course we don't. How can you be so out of touch with reality? Oh, come on. Isn't it supposed to be ladies first? What? You're the bride, so you should just keep the gifts. Lala, ladies first doesn't mean that. You're being so uptight. There were a lot of guests, right? You should have kept it all. It's not about being uptight. It's about common sense. And Forrest. Cheating was bad enough, but with Lala? That's unforgivable. I thought since you two were estranged, it wouldn't matter. Ha ha. Forrest, how long are you going to keep messing around? I'm totally serious, though. That attitude is exactly what we mean by messing around. So what should I say, then? The first thing you should do is apologize to Lisa. Think about it. How would you feel if this happened to you? On your wedding day, your partner abandons you and runs off with someone else. Imagine how much that would hurt. Put yourself in Lisa's shoes for once. Lala, you need to reflect on your own actions too. Oh my, Forrest's brother, you're being so dramatic. That's enough. Yikes! You two idiots who can't even take care of yourselves. Stop acting so high and mighty. My mom finally snapped at Forrest and Lala's foolish behavior. Shocked by my mom's intense anger, the two. Wait, why are you so mad? Yeah, seriously. We were really scared. You two are the ones making me angry. Stop smirking like idiots. Don't think you can get away with this just because we've been listening quietly. Have you even thought about how much pain you've caused Lisa? Her? She's so scary. Mom is only scary when she's angry. Otherwise, she's kind, right, Lala? Yeah, I guess that's true. Really? Now that I think about it, she's always been terrifying when mad. Ha ha. You've probably forgotten since you've been living as you please without any contact. If I marry Lala, I'd have such a scary mother-in-law. Don't think you'll ever be part of this family. Yikes! Why are dad and my brother so calm about this? We've already seen her like this before, haven't we, Noah? Yeah, there were some troublemakers bothering the staff at the restaurant where we introduced her. They were really tough looking, but Lisa's mom kicked them out decisively. Your mother-in-law was amazing that day. Oh, you flatter me, father-in-law. But anyway, talking more with Lala and Forrest is a waste of time. Let's just calculate the compensation and get this over with quickly. Yes, let's do that. Hearing these words from my mom and father-in-law, Forrest and Lala. No way. I won't pay a single yen. That's right. We're in love, so this is only natural. Enough already. That's just unreasonable. Exactly. It's your own fault, so take responsibility. Lala, you are disowned. What? Forrest, too. Never step foot in our house again. That's not fair. I'm cutting ties with you as well. I won't be contacting you ever again. Me too. But you'll still be held accountable. Finally, I can put this behind me. Thanks for contacting me. Wait. I really am sorry about the supermarket incident. That's important, but that's not the main issue here. It's okay, Noah. Mom's right. Talking to them is a waste of time. It's not a waste. Sis, I'm sorry. It was all my fault. I was thinking about coming back home, so don't disown me. Don't be so naive. I'll apologize to Lisa too. So, can you reduce the compensation? Truly remorseful people don't try to bargain. That's what's wrong with you. I really am sorry. So please. It's too late for that now. You'll hear from my lawyer about the amount. Goodbye. To both of you.
Forrest and Lala kept apologizing, but it was too late for apologies to suffice. Noah, anticipating their payment issues, insisted on a lump sum payment. Consequently, Forrest and Lala desperately scrambled to gather the money, including the cancellation fees I had paid. After the wedding fiasco, Forrest found it uncomfortable to stay at his company and quickly quit. However, he couldn't find a new job as easily as he thought and ended up working multiple part-time jobs alongside Lala. Instead of a blissful newlywed life, all they faced were piles of bills. On top of that, neighbors stared at them with curiosity and judgment when collectors came by the house. In this way, Forrest and Lala became buried in debt, constantly fighting over trivial matters while working tirelessly in their miserable lives. As for me. Oh my. Aren't these cookies from Morishi to Kaishindo? I knew you would recognize them. Impressive as always. Are these cookies really that special? This shop is completely members only, and you need a referral to buy them. And it takes at least two months to get them. I managed to get them through a friend. Please, enjoy them without hesitation. Well then, let's all enjoy them together. After things settled down, my co-workers threw a breakup celebration for me. Kenzaburo and Noah, who were supposed to become my in-laws, have now become my tea friends. Thanks to them, my mom, who was worried about me, is now completely cheerful again. Despite the outrageous experience, I'm living happily as ever. Grateful for these ordinary days, I plan to keep enjoying and challenging new things, living each day with a smile. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.